Hi, Vilna here and another Wednesday video and today we're going to paint a painting and I'm super excited about this project because um, when I decided to start doing these one of the the ideas or dreams or goals was not just to um, do scrapbook pages but to teach a little bit of art or show you how to make things pretty things for your home so for this um, painting we're going to be writing on the background with ink and then we're going to add butterflies and and just paint uh, with acrylic paint so this is basically the process we're going to do and um, let's get started the canvas that i'm using i got of michael's and it's a 12 by 16 inches um, it's called uh, Artist Loft Gallery Wrap Heavy Duty Canvas. So it has a very deep side. So I think it's one and a half inches deep. And I'm basically going to write a little poem on the background using that big brush, as you can see, and ink. Uh, it's just India ink. You can buy it every, anywhere. And... Um, and I've had a little practice in writing with my hand and I can do it quite straight. But you know what, even if it's not perfect, we are going to paint over it. So it doesn't have to be 100%. And the, the poem that I'm writing is, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. And I love that poem. And I wanted to do something that will work um, in any home or with any occasion, if you may. You can write your favorite scripture there, you can write a letter, you can write anything. So it doesn't matter um, what you write on the background. It's just to give some texture and text. Also, I, I made this exact um, background into a printable. So you can download it, um, you can buy and download it from iHeartStudio.ca and I made it um, 12 by 16 and then I have a 12 by 12 inch version as well. So you just have to have a wide format printer to be able to print it and you can just um, literally um, once you've printed it off you can use Mod Podge and just adhere it to a canvas and do the exact same process. Um, I'm just forwarding the writing part, but I just want to say that I did not prime the canvas. Um, you can, but these specific ones um, are primed already. When I work on a very big canvas, I will always prime it, maybe even give it one or two um, layers. But the smaller ones, if it's primed already, then eh, it's fine. So I'm almost done writing. I, the trick with this writing is you have to have a wet brush. And that's why you can't really um, write small. But if the brush is wet enough, it will work really great. Okay, and moving on. Once your lettering is dry, like in very, very, very dry, we're going to add some Mod Podge. Because certain inks um, is going to smudge. You can see there's a little line there already where the Mod Podge smudged the ink when you add um, water. So what I've done is I've learned to just add a little bit of Mod Podge. You can't see it in the video really, but I'm barely touching the canvas with that um, brush. It's a very, very light application. And in hindsight, I used way too much Mod Podge. So right there, I should have just used another um, brush and just took, take some off. So a little bit of Mod Podge just to cover the lettering because if we add um, water so that it doesn't smudge. So that's why we do it. Okay, and there you can see I cut out my butterflies with the silhouette. And what we're going to do now, and by the way, the Mod Podge is dry. 
We're going to be spray painting um, with the stencil in gold on um, the canvas. So I decided to spread out the butterflies and so I'm just covering a couple um, that I don't want to spray. I'm going to use those and spray them at the bottom. And I'm just using washi tape to make a little mask. And I'm going to add some pieces on the side also so, because I don't want the gold spray paint anywhere but on the butterflies. So I'm just using a white piece of paper covering the sides and washi tape or any tape is good for that. So it's a really makeshift little um, stencil here and at the top as well. And um, I'm using a, a gold spray paint. Um, you can use any color, but I loved the result of the gold because at a certain, certain angle, it really gives a shine. So that's quite nice. So I'm going to position the stencil right in the middle and then I'm going to lay it flat and just spray with it. Uh, spray and there you can see. And then I took... Um, the masking off and the few that were on the side, I spray painted them at the bottom. So there you go. You can see uh, the Mod Podge where it was a little thick. It gave a lot, lots of texture, but that's fine. We're going to work with that. So now we're going to be adding our um, paint. So I'm using Liquitex um, Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. And really, it's the only acrylic paint that I paint with. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it, it's thick and um, just lovely, lovely quality of paint. So I'm using white, titanium white. I'm using bright aqua green and some cadmium yellow, the medium hue. So you can see the um, there's more white than... The ratio of white is more than the other colors. And the reason for that is because I want a light color, but I want it green and blue, a perfect aqua, I think. That's one of my favorite colors. So I'm, I'm just getting clean water and, um, and I'm not going to worry to add water to my um, written background because the Mod Podge will keep the ink from flowing so that's just the reason why we did it so right now that we have clean water i'm just going to mix the paint in and i'm going to add lots of water here because i want to do a wash now i love doing washes and washes is something that you can layer one on top of the other and because you add so much water it's semi-transparent. And the reason why I want it to be semi-transparent is because of the background. I want it to shine through here and there. So that's what I decided, just to do lots of water. And I'm just going to elevate my canvas a little bit. The ideal is to paint on a on a tripod is it a tripod what do you call um, an easel don't paint on a tripod my friends paint on an easel and so just add lots of water and I want to add it so much that it will flow automatically there you go what I found out when I started to paint is that the gold spray paint act as a resist and I just loved that effect. So the paint didn't go, couldn't stick to the spray, um, spray paint and I loved how it shined through. And the idea is to use the gold as the, as the shadow of the butterfly. So I'm just... Mixing, adding water, mixing, adding water. 
And then the magic happens by itself. Don't be afraid to just paint and, and just enjoy the process because the good thing is um, because you're working with so much water, um, you can just use a paper towel and just dry pieces of it or literally just um, rub it off. So that's how simple it is. You can see I'm, I'm tilting my canvas a little so that it runs the water runs and here you can see the dried um, canvas and it looks so pretty I was so tempted to leave it just like that but then I decided to add the butterflies and then I realized that I don't want to add a butterfly on every gold shadow I decided just to do it here and there so I'm moving my butterfly a little bit so the gold can be seen and just a little bit of hot glue and you have to find the right spot so this is like that little memory game that you have to play You can also see that I um, I folded the butterflies so that they look three-dimensional and and look like they want to fly off the page. So in the end. I did leave a couple of shadows open just because the gold is so pretty and I didn't want to cover it completely. Right, and now I'm using a golden product called the Heavy Gel Gloss and you can see how thick that gel is but what I love about it is that it dries clear and I just decided to paint the butterflies with it. And it dries quite quickly. I was surprised to see how quickly it dried. And it looks like it's opaque, but it dries 100% clear. So the colors shone, shone through, I don't know, what's the grammar? Shine, shone, whatever. That word, the colors came through beautifully. And But I love the texture on the butterflies with that this paste created. So you can see I'm working quite in pasto and this is the final touch on my canvas. And once this is dry, your canvas is done. So I know this was a little different than the normal scrapbooking tutorials and I will be back with a scrapbooking tutorial scrapbook page next week. I just want to say that I'm sure you can make a scrapbook page um, exactly like this one in a 12 by 12 inch format and you can even just add a picture here and there. So I'm very excited to um, show you the canvas and I hope you enjoyed this little art lesson and, I, and if you like it I will do it again but otherwise I'll see you next Wednesday. This is Vilna and I'm saying goodbye.